Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to do a problem in math. We're going to calculate the center and the radius of a circle. A lot of my students had this question in the FE exam and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your FE exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos and let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we're giving the equation of a circle and we need to calculate the center of the circle and its radius. I actually got a very similar question on my FE exam and very common, many of my students had the same exact question. So yeah, so let's get to it. First thing you gotta know is that the equation should look like something like this. So if you go to page 31 under the math section, you will see here that they give you this x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. The center is the hk. So we need to put this equation that you guys see here into this form so that way h and k would be my center of the circle and then r would be my radius, right? So we need to transform this equation into this. So how are we going to do that? So they don't really tell you that here, guys. So just kind of have to know it and just remember it. We're going to complete the square. You guys probably did this in high school and you probably don't remember it. I myself looked at it the first time and I was like, I don't remember this. So let's do it together. But it's really simple though. First thing we're going to do is write x squared minus 8x and we're going to do plus and we're going to leave this empty for now because that's how we're going to complete the square. And then I'm going to write again plus y squared minus 10y and I'm going to do plus and I'm going to leave this alone for now. I'm going to do equal. I'm going to take this 25 to the other side. This becomes minus 25. So I arrange the x components by themselves, y components by themselves, and then anything else, the number should go to the other side. So now we can totally come to here and then complete the square. Let's do it in a different color. So here, the way we complete the square, it's really simple. All you gotta do is take this number right here, divide it by two, and then square. That's it, guys. And then the same thing here. And for the negative, well, we don't really care about the negative because if you put negative in the parentheses, negative squared just becomes positive. So it doesn't really matter or it doesn't really affect your answer. So we're going to do the same thing with 10 over 2 squared. But here's the problem. Whatever you do to this side, you have to actually add it to this side. So here, if you do 8 over 2, that's 4. 4 squared, that gives you 16. So I got to make sure I add 16 here, right? So you can't add here and not do it to this side. And the same thing with 10. 10 over 2, that's 5. 5 squared is 25. So make sure you add 25 here, okay? So now let's rearrange this equation. And then I think we're close to the answer. So I don't actually like to square this because that's the number I'm going to use. So y squared and then m squared. Now what we can do is rewrite these as in this form. So I have x minus 4, so this number here, and then the whole thing squared, plus again y minus this number, and then we have 5 squared, and this is equals to uh, 16. So if, if this doesn't make sense, just think about it like this. So if I do x minus 4, and then I multiply again by another x minus 4, because it's x minus 4 squared. If you guys remember this from algebra, we have to expand it, right? It's the FOIL rule. So we do x squared minus 4x minus 4x and then plus or minus 4 times minus 4, which gives us plus 16, right? So I have minus x squared minus 8x plus 16. And that's exactly what I have here, x squared minus 8x plus 16. So you can take time, a little bit of time, and try to go from here to here and then like and expand it. Or you could just rewrite it like this, keep the 4 squared, keep the 5 squared, and then just drop it so that way you're a little bit faster doing the exam. If you have a negative here, make sure this is negative. And that's it. And if you're not sure if this is the right answer, well, you can just quickly expand it. Make sure when you expand your numbers, you get the same as the original equation that you had. Now we have the equation as we wanted. So we already know that our h and k is going to be four and five. So it's, we know it's going to be either a or b. And then this, remember guys, this is r squared. So it's not r. 
So r squared is equal to 16, but we want the radius, we don't want r squared. So all you gotta do is take the square root of 16 and that gives you four. So the answer is going to be a, four, five, and then the radius is four. I hope this guys makes sense. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next clip. If you guys want some practice problems, you can visit my website, just scroll all the way to the bottom, sign up or enter your email address and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. Okay guys, so that'll be it for today. On the next video, we're going to do a problem on dynamics covering the impulse equations. So make sure you guys hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.